Down in Birmingham this week, the 100th annual state basketball tournament has been taking place and coming coming into the afternoon four North Alabama schools had already claimed their blue map. Could the Deschler Lady Tigers be the fifth team? Max Cohan was on the sidelines of a legacy arena to find out. It's Tiger time in Tuscumbia. For the first time since 2016, the Deschler Tigers are state champions. Dominating St. James 74 to 42, the Tigers put on a show en route to head coach Janet Killen's seventh title with the Tigers. In the four day title game, Deschler looking to end a three game championship losing streak with a win over the Trojans. Chloe Siegel lived up to her name as the state's three point queen, knocking down six in a 20 point outing. After breaking the state three-point record earlier this season, Siegel said all she wanted is a blue map. Now she has it. It feels great. I mean, I'm just, I've dreamed of winning a blue map ever since I was a little kid, you know, in the fourth grade, watching them win back to back. And I've just always wanted to win one. And I mean, it, it just feels great. But Siegel wasn't the Tigers' only lethal shooter. Emma Kate Siddle kept the scorekeeper busy, filling up the stat sheet with 30 points on 12 of 18 shooting, with six from behind the arc to pair with her two steals. An effort that was rewarded when she was named tournament MVP. I think this is the best feeling ever in my whole life. <laughs> All in, it was a great day for the Tigers, who shot over 55% from the field and won by 32, taking the 4A title game 74 to 42. Hall of Fame coach Janet Killen called this one of the greatest seasons of her career. It was definitely a team win. You couldn't just focus on, on one kid out there. It was multiple attacks. This is one of the greatest. I told him earlier today, I know I have smiled and laughed more this year than I have any other year uh, because they're such a fun group to be around. So another blue map is making its way up north. Make it four on the day, but there are opportunities for more tomorrow. Be sure to stay with us right here on Way 31 as we continue our coverage of the state finals right here in Birmingham. Reporting at the BJCC, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports. That's right, I'll be on the sidelines for the 5A, 6A, and 7A title tomorrow. It should make for a great championship Saturday.